Good day, good day. How the honk are you? This is your friend Dan. Oh, welcome to Roverland. <laughs> I got a special treat for you guys today. Um, well, it's kind of a unboxing. It's uh, hopefully going to be a model review as well. Um, it's um, uh, just a great show today. So we're going to be doing some exciting stuff. I got some stuff. Uh, let's start out with this. A big, huge thank you to Colin. Colin is uh, a subscriber of mine. He comments. We uh, got Facebook friends, and uh, then we made a trade. So this is kind of a trade box from uh, all the way, what is he, Michigan, isn't it? Hancock, Hancock, Michigan. So Colin, this is a shout out to you. Thanks a lot, buddy. Uh, yeah, so I traded him some stuff and he got, he found some stuff for me and traded it for me. So let's get right into this part of the video. All right. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, so uh, talking about that, if you guys want to uh, become Facebook friends, Roverland on Facebook and uh, Roverland channel. Uh, hey, there's a note. Let me just take a little peek here. Yeah, here we go. So, uh, yeah, from our friend, your friend, Colin. Awesome. Hey, Dan, looking forward to the video you do on these Defenders. They are probably my favorite uh, Hot Wheels has done yet. That is right. Uh, we have all been excited about this. And uh, so let's get right into it. Thank you. I'm going to put that in the file. Yeah, so... Uh, I did a review on uh, these already, and uh, but we've gotten more. Oh, there it is. Snap. If you follow me on Facebook, uh, I did actually find uh, some of these in the wild. Uh, one. One. I found one so far. And uh, yeah, snap that up. Actually, let me show you what I bought what I found in that set. This is the ones I found in that set. I found the Land Rover Defender 110 hard top, and then I do do some, uh, I dabble a little bit in the Mercedes. I do. Uh, I have some Mercedes. They are the closest uh, four-wheel drive truck that could be comparable to a Land Rover. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so I bought this one. They're, they're the only two cars out of the whole set that I would be interested in. I suppose I could buy the Hummer 1, but that wasn't even in the stores uh, when I uh, got that. Uh, it was, uh, I think it was this car and uh, the, the two that I bought that were in the store. So that's what I've got. I love that green. Very nice model. Uh, I may buy another one. You know, these are 547, 540, yeah, like six bucks a piece. Uh, because they're uh, premium Hot Wheels, so I don't know if I'll buy another one to take uh, this out of the package or not. But uh, anyway, so that's that's what I found, and so Colin found some already. We were <laughs> I kind of made a comment. The first one that I got, I got from Wheel Collectors. Uh, I'll put a link up to that one. Uh, that uh, no matter of fact, I didn't. I got. I got this one. I have to back up my story here. I got one of these from Wheel Collectors. Uh, he was uh, Matt over there. I'll put a video to the uh, link to the video for that. And uh, he sent me one of these, so we got to preview this before this came out in the whatever letter case. Uh, and so then he got these in, and I'm like, Matt, can I, you know, can I buy one of? He sent he sent one of these for free, and I'm like, dude. Hey, uh, can I buy one of those right away from you? You know, because uh, wheel collectors, um, you know, they buy and sell uh, Hot Wheels and Tomica and all kinds of stuff. So anyway, he said he didn't have any. They all went and they sold them as sets because uh, they got a case of. But anyway, back to the story of Colin here. He found these. Look at that. Those are beautiful. Three of them. Awesome deal. I just love it. Thing. Oh, 
got me so excited bumping the camera. And then he also was able to find um, some of these. Yeah, the Land Rover or the Range Rover Velar, which I have yet to find one of these in the wild. So, yeah, so he found some of those. So, uh, oh, yeah, look at this. Beautiful. Okay, I got a problem. I know. I hoard. I hoard. But uh, I can't wait to. Uh, we took one of these apart uh, way earlier than what my. Uh, Oh, my nervous self would let me do, but we did do a, a model review of this. I don't know if eBay's going to, uh, eBay, I don't know if YouTube's going to let me put another uh, uh, tag for another video, but I can uh, do that. If not, it'll be on the end of the video or in the description below. But anyway, so I got more of those, and uh, I'm planning on, you know, Hot Wheels, I'm planning on more of those to come out, okay? All right. So that's the trade box from Colin. Thank you very much. Big thumbs up and uh, hope you're having a great Rover day today. Awesome. Um, so let me go back to, uh, yeah, what I found in the wild. And uh, guess what? I've got a couple of these, so we're going to open this up. But before I do that, <laughs> I'm going to make you wait. This is something I found too. Walmart has been... Uh, carrying Tomika stuff and uh, I'm not really a uh, you know big Tomika fan uh, you know I mean they're all right there's nothing wrong with them I pick them up at uh, you know used ones I pick those up at uh, garage sales and wherever I you know find them uh, swap meets or flea markets because I know there is a uh, Tomika fan club out there but anyway they really, I don't know, I'm hoping Walmart and Tamika keep going, and I don't know if Tamika makes a Land Rover. I really haven't done any searching, usually because these uh, run a premium price, plus uh, I have to ship it, so, because these, I think, I want to say are close to 4 to $5 as well. And, uh, but anyway, I used to have a Suzuki Samurai, and that's my kind of story, is uh, I got into Land Rovers because one day I went by my local credit union and they had an old Suzuki Samurai for sale, convertible, four-wheel drive. So I said, I got to buy that. So I bought that, and uh, let me open this up while I'm talking. So I bought that Suzuki Samurai, and uh, I just love convertibles. I always have. And uh, so I bought that, and I started four-wheeling and goofing around and everything with that Suzuki Samurai. And then it came to the point where, you know, hey, they're a good little truck. I liked them. I Actually, I, I owned quite a few of them. And then I'm like, one day I'm like, you know what? I want the best of the best four-wheel drive. And that's when I ran into, hey, there's a thing such as a Land Rover. <laughs> Being uh, British myself, <laughs> I uh, I said, I got to own me a Land Rover. So I sold all my Suzukis, and uh, I uh, got into Land Rovers, starting out with uh, trucks, and then I got into uh, doing, uh, you know, toys and everything Land Rover. But anyway, there's the box. All right, we don't want that. And here's the little bugger here. This is kind of cute. This is kind of cute. Uh, if we can like focus in a little bit, let's see if uh, the camera will let us focus in a little bit here. Nice little truck. Now we don't have Suzuki Samurais here in the states anymore uh, due to uh, some bad publicity and uh, yeah, uh, horrible uh, research and stuff like that. Don't get me started. But uh, nice little model. Oh, look at that. Nice little details there. Trying to get the lighting here so we can really get some good looks at this. But uh, not a Land Rover, but neat little four-wheel drive. You know, if I had all the money in the world, I'd have Land Rovers, and then I'd have their uh, counterparts to see how inferior they are. But anyway, <laughs> there you go. That's a plastic base. Tomica, Suzuki Jimmy, made in Vietnam. Yeah, 156 seven scale. So I've got a jammer that I keep my uh, non-Land Rover stuff in and uh, 
and stuff like that, but that's unique. I, I don't know if I'd buy any more colors of it. Um, I've got an example. I got a Tomica, and so I'll leave it at that. All right, moving right along. Like I said, I'm, we're not going to open that one. I don't know if I'll, like I say, I don't know if I'll get another one or not, but guess what? Yeah, we're going to open one of these buggers up right now. Yeah, let me set this up so we can kind of have a nice place to open this up. Sorry, I don't have a, let's see if we can get down here so you can see me open this up. You got to look at something while I'm yapping. All right. I want to kind of preserve the uh, boxing. And I'm going to open the one I, op I got in the wild because, uh, you know, that's just something I bought. I'm not going to open the ones I got from Colin because those are going to be special. <laughs> All right, here it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Pop that baby right out of there. Oh, nice. Very good weight to it. Yeah, that's metal on metal. Yeah, Land Rover Defender 110. Hard top. Made in Thailand. Two rivet construction. Uh, they got the offset pumpkins on the on the rear, but the front they've got that. They got the transfer case and the rear drive in the rear drive shaft right, but yeah, the rest is kind of where are we going first? Front or back? Let's go to the front. There we go. Oh yeah. Just uh what do they call that? Murdered out black wheels. Oh, I love those wheels rubber wheels it's got the uh wow nice detail up front land rover on the hood the uh turn signals and marker lights with the uh headlights it's even got the little badge there i don't think it says land rover but it's got a marking yep they even got a little little paint there for the side marker nice Door handles painted. All right. Very nice, very nice. Kind of got some molding marks in there. No Alpine windows, but this is a flat-sided uh, station wagon, they'd call it, wouldn't they? Uh, Ralph, you would know exactly how they call us, but it's a 110 station wagon or uh, panel because there's no uh, windows or anything. Oh, there it is. The back end's got some nice detail. Yeah, Land Rover Defender. Some tail lights, turn lights, backup light. Fast and the Furious 110. There you go. Smoke windows. You can kind of see the uh, post in the back there, but that's pretty nice there. Yep. Uh, I don't know if it's got an interior or not. But uh, filler, filler cap there, very beautiful, very beautiful. Well, you know what? That's all good and well, but you know what? Oh, it's a nice heavy duty, nice heavy duty truck. I like that. I don't know if we can get back down here and we'll take a look at it rolling around. <laughs> there you go, nice roller, yeah. For being real riders, yeah, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Well, you know what? Hot Wheels are going to make a lot of these, right? So guess what we're going to do? Let's uh, let's drill one apart. How's that? <laughs> yeah, we're going to drill one apart. Why not? So I'm going to get my... Uh, oh, we better zoom out just a little bit here. And uh, let's see. I got my Milwaukee drill. Got some Black & Decker size this up see what we got yeah that should do the works i don't know what this is what does that say i don't know three sixteenths we're going with that folks we're going with that all right let me chuck this up for you of course we're gonna hit the camera all right <laughs> All right, oh, I'm so excited. We're going to take a look at the inside of this bad boy. All right, you, the squeamish of heart, look away, because this is, this is going to get real right here. All right, concentrate, concentrate. 
nice and easy. Metal on metal, so really kind of nice. Nice sharp drill there. Not bad. Got to kind of work around my light here. <laughs> That's all right. That's a real time stuff. If I drill off my finger, we might have to pause, but otherwise, we're going to just keep right on rolling. All right, a little bit more there. I can't believe I'm doing this already. <laughs> But just for you guys, I want you guys to see what's inside these buggers so you don't have to drill yours apart, right? <laughs> All right. Those shavings and everything, I don't want them to mar up that black, beautiful black paint job. You can see this a little bit more this way. All right, I think let's give it a try here. Uh, I think I got a little screwdriver here. See if we can get in there and do some prying, huh? Oh, I just don't want to mar up anything. Well, let's give it a tug first. See if we can just give it a tug and see if she'll come off. Nope. I think we got to go a little bit more there, folks. Hold on. Oh, cheese balls. Look away if you're faint to heart, okay? There we go. We're getting there. Taking my time because this is a this is an expensive model, you know. <laughs> they only made 500 million of them. <laughs> All right. Now we're getting somewhere. See if I can get a fingernail in there or something to see if we can pry that apart. Nope, not yet. Why they put these things together good? We're getting somewhere on the front half, not on the back half yet. All right, am I staying in frame yet? Getting kind of wild now, look out. <laughs> oh. Hope that drill is not being annoying and loud for you all. I know uh, I watched some of the uh, customizers and they got all oh, nasty sounding drills it's like really I didn't really want to sign up and uh, watch your video and listen to your drill go oh here we go all right I think we got her I think we got her all right let's readjust her camera here get back over here all right all right all right here we go ladies and gentlemen we can find in a focus here. So obviously we've got uh, we got the top. Look at there. It does have an interior left hooker. Very nice. Steering wheel is a little uh, wanting, as I like to say. Five seater there. Big uh, center console, defender stock, looks like. A little bit of a shifter knob there. But uh, pretty neat, pretty neat. And of course, that interior is the uh, grill. And the uh, eyebrows. Oh no. Oh no. The grill is a whole other different piece. That just popped right off. Go figure that. I don't know if I need to go in or out to make you focus. I'm not sure. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. Yeah, that's a totally separate piece. The grill there. Oh, it goes, oh, I see, it goes upside down like that. Goes on the top. Well, that's kind of neat. So when they made this part, and I'm always, I'm, I've been in the factory production, so this is one piece here. So they just pound these out, and then this grill piece, they pound these out, but then they got to stop and they got to paint them. So instead of this big honking piece, 
They do have to assemble that, but it's an easy, just pop straight on there. There's no rivet or anything holding that. All right, so then uh, here is the, oh boy, yeah. So the top is separate too. Wow, we're learning a lot of stuff about this one. Boy, a lot of parts to this. Yeah, a lot of parts to this. Very unique, very unique. Well, I'm kind of kind of excited that I, I did open this up so we could kind of really see what this was. This is kind of a, a real different, uh, you know, um, uh, assembly, you know, because normal uh, Hot Wheels, they have to do, you know, only so many 